We are Revelations, the biggest spiritual platform. My name is Mami Grace, Empress Makida, or um, Hadasha. You can also call me Jezebel. I respond to it. Once again, I welcome you to another great, great, great episode with one of our kind. Now, me we still with time cry. Let's take um, let's take opportunity to welcome our guest. I welcome you. Thank you. Please, in one minute. Mention your name and introduce yourself to our viewers. Okay, I'm F.P. Manson, and I'm a bearer of the light. It's as simple as that. A bearer of the light. Yes. Please, what do you mean when you say you are a bearer of the light? We want to understand. Okay, basically, um, you know, their light is intelligence. And there are some people, when you, when you transcend certain dimensions, they make you a bearer of the light. That means they give you certain intelligence for you to bring to the earth to help elevate the earth consciousness to certain dimension for future generations to come and enjoy a better planet. A better planet. So when you say there are people who ascend the higher trans, uh, vibrations and they are sent, who are those and who sent those people? You see, we have the spiritual hierarchies. And the spiritual hierarchies control all activities that transpire within this physical consciousness. You see, we have the physical consciousness and we have the non-physical consciousness. Now, these spiritual hierarchies include the creator, the Bible call it God. We have the allocator, we have the masters of light, we have the ascended masters, we have the laws of light, we have the laws of karma, we have the spirit guides, we have the angels, we have the blue beings, there are a whole lot of them that operate within the seventh dimension and they see to the activity that transpire on this physical planet. Now what happens is that there are souls that come to this planet Earth for a particular assignment. They are those who also learn from books and they have the desire to share the knowledge. So these are the two dimensions. Those who are assigned to come to this Earth with the intelligence to come and do a specific task, they are light bearers. So you happen to be one of them? Yes. Okay, go ahead. So basically, uh, in this my present incarnation, I've come to really help humanity, raise humanity consciousness. Though I have to go through several things, like Jesus Christ, though it was, a, a, it was an immaculate conception of God, which means God's incarnation, he had to go through tutelage, which, of course, unfortunately, it's silent in the Bible, which is called the 18 silent years of Jesus Christ, because when you study the Bible, it says at the age of 12 years, he was in the temple when he got missing. He was in the temple when the mother went to find him in the temple, asking questions and answering questions. That's the act of learning. And from there, there was no information about him. Until 30 years, he surfaced with power and doing miracles. So there's that 18 silent years of his life in the Bible. We all know that from age 1 to age 12 years is the irrelevant years of a man's life. According to Jewish tradition, you begin to learn at the age of 12 years. Then you learn the Torah, you study the Mishnah, then the usher into the Kabbalah which is the secret mysteries of the Judaism. From that level, when he started asking questions and answering questions, which is the act of learning, because when you're in school, you ask questions and then you answer questions. Everything about the man was cut off. Until 30 years, he resurfaced with power. Where was he? What was he doing? All those things, it's silent. But because he was a light bearer, though he was a light bearer, he needed to go through the various human endeavors so that he would understand the ways of men and to know how to deal with humanity better in order to transmit the light appropriately for the collective good of humanity. So there are souls that come to the earth with such a mission, and such mission you cannot avoid. Uh, practically, personally, I've tried to avoid this thing. It's something I really didn't want to do. Uh, and they come to me talking in the bathroom, wherever I say, you know, I, I like the, I'm the quiet type, I don't like too much talking. And I feel that I don't want to carry somebody's burden on my shoulders. I've acquired the knowledge, I want to use quietly myself, go back to my eternal home and it's fine. But I decided to embark on this thing because the last wish my father made before he died, that was his last words. He said, I'm dying a very happy man because I need to, I've seen all I need to see on earth. And whatever I want to accomplish on earth, I've done it. But there's only one thing. Wherever I'm going, it's a very good place and a happy place. No two ways about that. But I'll be more happier over there when I see you do your mission on earth. Mm. Then I have to take it more serious. I didn't want to do it. I was running my advertising company. I had staff and all those things doing well. Why would I have to go carry somebody's karma on my head? Because you're not dealing with human beings, you're sharing their karma. Even exchanging 
things, you know. So when you go to the East thing where they normally don't want to exchange presentries, greetings and stuff like that. So I don't want to do it. But when it came to that, I realized that I have to do it. And I didn't know how much people were going to destruction and be, people are being led astray until I had the first opportunity to to be hosted on a radio program. The way that people were calling and that even I really didn't go deep. I was just talking about the elementals and the four elements and how people are. And so I didn't know that. But these are fundamental. They are not even part of spirituality. But when you are talking about spirituality itself, astrology, numerology, metaphysics, all are not part of spirituality because they are within the realm of mind. And anything within the realm of mind is not part of spirituality. When you go into the higher consciousness, it is not regarded as spirituality. Because spirituality is to transcend mind. If you're unable to transcend your mind, you have to have a total separation of your higher self from the mind. Then when that separation takes place, then you begin to experience. So we realize that we have different planes of consciousness, from the physical consciousness to the logoic consciousness, to the third level, which is the mental plane, with the lower or upper mental plane. Okay, that is where first to third dimension, Maya takes control and then thought, you know, play the attracts. But when you transcend the third level, then you are entering to the intuitive realm, which is the gateway to the spiritual realm. Above that, we have the what we call the home of the masters or the adept realm, which is the atomic. People call it atomic. Now, depending on the person's level of development, wherever he gets to, he may think is the ultimate. But the ultimate itself is having absolute union with the divine essence. And that's why Jesus said, I and the Father are one. Until you get there, you've never had a full essence of the Father. God is not man. He's formless. Now, within human dimension, we try to explain who God is through the limited language of man. And this is the problem of religion. Now, religion is trying to use the limited language of man to express the limitless nature of divinity. So, obviously, you're going to have problems. So, there are things I don't even want to try to explain. I tell people, look, if you want it, it's not a problem. Come, go through preparation, sit down, I get you on balance, you experience it, then you have no questions. Okay, so we have uh, light bearers, and you happen to be one of them, yes. right? So what are the other people? What are their mission on earth? Their mission is, you see, they are, that's also, they are the group of people, there are some people, they, they, also part, they are doing the job all right, because, you know, John the Baptist came, he wasn't the light bearer, they came to prepare the way for the light bearer. So there are people who studied, read books, went through certain training, they have the desire, they say, no, this truth, I cannot hold it. But they don't have first-hand experience with the light. These are the difference. Mm -hmm. So such people also do the work all right, which it's one big group. Just like as I said earlier, when John the Baptist was, was, he came to prepare the way for the light bearer to bring the absolute truth. So the other side of the people are those who are here to prepare the way for the total emancipation to take place. Okay. So the light bearers, you happen to be one of them. Yes. How many do you think we have in Ghana or in Africa? Can you tell or you just give us a... We want to know whether you, are, you stand alone or there are others. Oh, no, I don't stand alone. There are other light bearers in the universe, not, not here alone. Other, uh, uh, you, America, other places. Since we talk about Africa and Ghana, let's narrow it down. Okay. Here. So, well, I cannot tell you the total number of light bearers. In, even in Accra alone, I cannot tell you. Okay. But you are, made aware to, you are made aware that you are not the only light bearer. Now, obviously, when I meet a light bearer, I know. When you meet a light bearer, Yes, you I know. know. Okay, sure. You are watching Revelations, and my name is Mami Grace. Okay, so tell me the situations. We will come to your topic. Okay. These are normal things I want to understand before we get into your topic. When you were talking, and I woke up, I me brought for year seven. But of can boom. Into what? Between us, we had six. Okay, into your balance. Into what? Kasa no. What say now? One person will be go through nyama bi until you wanted to be on your own, yeah. though you know who you were and your mission. A di be nyama nyama na na usuro se will be come as a light bearer. Into na na one person won't quietly into your kana. No say nyama me come as a misro. That's my personal trait. You know, you know, you have your spiritual nature and you have your personality which is two separate entities altogether. Now, my personality is telling me one thing, and then my spiritual self is telling me one <laughs> thing. <laughs> okay, that make I say, oh, wow. your real nature, one kasa, now, now, and now, your divine nature. Yes, 
Now, your carnal nature or your personality is telling you one thing, desires one thing, and your spiritual nature also is telling you one thing. So you are torn between the two. So which, which one do you think we should put it at the top? Actually, it's your divine nature. Okay. Because the spiritual must control the physical. Because we don't live life from without. We live life from within because the divine is within us. And when you go further into the topic, you will understand what, I, what I'm trying okay, to say. So since you have communication with these beings, yeah. or since you have the opportunity to get to the other side, yeah. what can you name three things they put light bearers or light carriers, or everybody has a name for yeah. it, they put them through, and when you see them, what do you feel? When you say they put them through... Because they come, these beings come to yeah. talk to you. How do you get it? I will try to carry the mission. Okay. 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 Yeah, you see, when it comes to when it comes, you see, each light bearer has its own responsibility and assignment. Well, mm. We did a book of I think Romans. You know, Bible talks about it, but not in a very open way. So sometimes when I see people condemn the Bible, I watch but I say, do they really understand it? Where well, the Bible contains so much things that the limited understanding of human consciousness cannot perceive it. Now, when you read the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 38, 28, it says that all things work together for good to them that know their God and are called according to his purpose. So each and every light bearer has his own purpose. So the experiences differ. Now, but what you see, what I know, I see that you can, one of the things that you can use to determine a light bearer, even if the person is ignorant of his one selflessness, what you are saying? And one, the total detachment of materialism. You see that the person is totally detached from materialism. I need that account for your cinema. Say, you know, I have to do this, I have to get that, I have to find. When he got him, fine. Well, if you don't, he hasn't got to find. Now, basically, what happens is that the more you have the light in you, the more you are detached from material consciousness. And sometimes, even if you're a married couple, it becomes a problem in terms of and fulfilling marital obligations. These are personal issues that these people go through. Yes. I want to know what the public put them through. Do you see anything the public put them through? Because I know, or I believe when you, as people say, I should, this, I know, I should say, oh, yeah, oh, I no, it's not. I will say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, no. So when they put them, when sometimes, when they put them through, they put them through. Yeah. So I want to know what you see the public put such people through, if you see one, and how you feel. It's, it's rather unfortunate. Uh, the world doesn't want the truth. Mm. Now, it, you realize that I was telling you about my personal name and why I have to choose a pen name for myself. Not that I'm scared, but it is because I want what I need to so get out there before they can do whatever they want to do. Mm. You understand? And I don't want people to connect Actually, I personally didn't want uh, public this thing. So a lot of people are afraid. Why? I say, no. The issue is that I want to communicate them. But I want to come in such a way that it will be independent of my personality. So I was looking at ways by which, and they, they told me, look, in this modern day, there's no way you can communicate something independent of your personality. Because whatever you say comes from your personality. Because the spirit dwells in your mechanism. So yes. how do you separate so, it? So, so, but I was trying to see if it's possible. But that was one of the reasons that it took me so long. What happens is that, you see, the intelligences that be, I don't want to go into certain things now, but the intelligence. This is Revelations platform. You don't massage anything here. The reason I asked you from the beginning, yeah. are you ready to give us? You give us exactly the point. It's yes. not about you don't want to go there. You okay. need to get us to the deeper dimension. Because we'll this, there. we are the biggest spiritual platform we'll and there. we put things straight as it is. We'll get there. Okay. We'll get there. But mm -hmm. you see, when you talk about spirit, it's very vast. Mm -hmm. So you know. Your audience should be carried through so that they have. We don't have a problem. Yeah, but you don't have a fair knowledge, a fair knowledge of what the whole thing is about. Mm -hmm. So you, you are said, warming up. You yes. get us there. So what I'm trying to say is, there are intelligences that be within this physical consciousness mm -hmm. that has made sure and is making sure and will ever make sure that humanity will not break loose from their slavery. Mm. Okay. Now, these intelligences that be, some people call it ruling families and all those things, and they are putting certain things in place. Well, I can tell you for a fact, media, school, politics, governance, these were institutions that were set by these people to control the masses. 
So that when you draw the pyramid, they see that the apex of the pyramid and they control and the masses at the base of the pyramid. As you begin to develop, then you go ahead. If you are not, you get to a level that you don't want to kotow to their demands, then you become a threat. Then they will have to nip you down. Why do they have the expression thinking out of the box? I asked, I, asked, I asked one professor that why do you, when you, say you tell your uh, 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 students, think out of the box, why do you tell them? Because they are all put in one box. And who put them in the box? We need to find out. So when you begin to have that inner enlightenment and the divine light begins to reach you and begin to see things differently from different perspectives than the perspective they've laid down for people to see things, the stereotype nature that they want people to behave, then they say, well, this guy is thinking out of the box. Then now they try to, I remember some time ago, let me give you this scenario. I was in my office in Dansuman. Then my, my office was opposite Echo Bank. Well, these people, they have to cl close everything because I decided not to do it. There's a look, this work you're going to do. If you, if you don't take them, I'm going to destroy all things you have acquired. Mm -hmm. So that's oh, well, it. So I was in my office one day and a guy brought one white guy to my office. And the guy was talking. So he said, oh, I know some guy. He's me. I'm not, I don't know these things. I mean, just come on a uh, porter at the airport. I will take it to my friend. So, we went. so the guy came talking so many, so many things. So then I began to express certain knowledge, talk about black slavery, why we have to be drawers of water and hewers of food. I said, look, what's all these things for? You're a pastor, and all the way. why do you have to bring all this knowledge to Africa? So I thought, okay, fine. If, if you say we are the drawers of water, that's your definition, and you have coined that historical antecedent to connect to Africa, what of the perception about uh, uh, Elisha and his servant? He said, you shall be the deceiver of the brethren, and your skin become white as they say. And then, you know, the, that confusion came in. And later on, when he was about to say, look, okay, my brother, let me tell you something. This thing you want to share. If you start, either they'll ask you to come and join and keep quiet. And if you insist, they'll come and kill you. Hmm. So that's the only advice you'll give to me. I told them, look, I'm here to fulfill divine mission. Hmm. Death is not my problem. Because, you see, death is an illusion. It really does not exist. You understand? But it's a state of transition that when you attain that consciousness, you realize that death is rather a reward than a punishment. You are watching Revelations. Uh, death is rather a reward. We are taking, we've been taken out of TV, but we are managing social media for now. So keep watching. You are watching Revelations, the biggest spiritual platform. We give you live, our live studios are open and um, time with Mami Grace and all that is on social media now. You can follow the TV app. That is Jerome TV, AJ. Jerome TV. We are trying to go there nobody will stop us it's not easy but we are trying our best it be na all canon into back when now we lose a whole lot into out of fear no what's well if you are to so nature say what will be the other into or more my your margins or mobile one also you know what's all absorbing information you know idea would you why it be to your eight year thousands of dollars to acquire you have the platform to acquire knowledge for free don't look for solutions. Put your problems aside. Open your mind. Learn and gain your highest consciousness. My name is Mami Grace. You can call me Hadasha. Ya to me din Jezebel still me jesu. And asem na me kan enoa na me kan juma me ye enoa na me ye. I am here with Mr. Mensa. Onoa de osi ede FP ana P. FP Mensa. Ana me ne waha. So let's get into your topic. So you've seen a bit of this thing. Into who others na ba wo de what ya see into na wo ye. But you know, some are doing these things. Some do not realize it. Yeah. And to then, it may be out of this, right? A lot of them. A lot of them. A lot of them. And I'm not surprised you're talking about, say, you're taking out of television. Because when I was seeking for the permission whether I should come or not, they told me you're going through so much. And uh, they took me to a place that is like people want to come out of a ditch. I was telling my, 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 one of them, and they were stacked. And it's like nobody was helping them to come out of the ditch. And I was like, I was standing there, and they said, like, what? and they were crying, why don't you help us? I said, I don't want to carry your problem. And then the, the energy told me, why don't you help them get to where you are? So I, as soon as I began picking them up, when I got it, I said, no, so go and talk. You see, yeah. so the point that is, you see, the truth is, I don't understand. I understand, but I use the word, I don't understand, because why would somebody would want to deprive somebody of who he truly is. You see, a problem in your say, say, who near, who near, nobody can control you. Nay, you who near, 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 who
Anyway, we will talk about that later. But let's get into your topic. Yeah. Restoring the lost balance of our planet. Yes, that's good. When you say restoring the lost balance of our planet, what do you mean? Okay, what I want to mean is that Yep. Try. You see, the American say, one say this planet was created a Wenura. There's an energy responsible for this planet. That's why when you go to the the, the, the seven dimension triangle, that's, that's the creator. Now, this planet actually is the only living planet in the universe. There's no planet with life on it apart from this planet. So if, if you transcend mind into the realm where right? say be everything on this planet is alive everything is alive they communicate they talk they, they the grass move the mountains express themselves everything on this planet is alive and that is why the mountain you see as high today wasn't as high as it was some some years back but it, it grew to that level the tree grows everything on this planet is alive it grows there's a life force within that entities animate and inanimate that makes them grow now the creation of this universe was to create a perfect balance for human inhabitation. Now, when we're thrown off balance, Bible gives in an allegorical presentation of when, man, when humanity were thrown off balance. They used the serpent, the woman, the man to give a, a very simple allegory, but not actually something that transpired, but it's an allegory, pulling your mind to something. Now, what happened is that when God created, when you read Genesis 1, 26 there about, he said, let us create man in our image, in our likeness. And the image of God created him, male and female. And then they added, created he, them. Now, male and female, now you see, this world is a world of duality. At the higher essence is a unit. There's no separation. So when the energy is coming within the world of duality, because this world operates on the principle of polarity or duality, that means opposite pairs or complementary pairs, the energy that comes is split into two in order to conform to the, the principle that governs this physical consciousness, to make life, to be able to replenish itself. When God created all things, he created all things in pairs. Are you permitting to use the word God? Created all things in pairs. But when he created Adam, the allegorical Adam, mm -hmm. In him dwells male and female. The pair was within Adam. So at that, at that stage, Adam was a complete unit. So if you shouldn't have used God, what was the right word? Because you, you asked for permission to use God. Use the right Sublime word. Sublime intelligence. Uh, say again. Sublime Be intelligence. Be using that. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. so, so the sublime intelligence, mm -hmm. which is one unit, mm -hmm. that in inhabits all other energies. Mm -hmm. When, it's sent, when the energy is descending, like let's say the Akosombo, the power you're using in this house is the same Akosombo, but it's degraded. Now, when it goes back to its source, it's the, that massive power that can consume all things. So when the energy, during creation, manifestation, we call it manifest creation, as it, it has to degrade the energy. But all things are within God. That's why Bible says, in him we live and move and have our being. Everything is within that sublime intelligence or sublime love. Now, when it's, it has to degrade itself to manifest, then to degrade to manifest. When it came to, it came to the creation of humanity, the, that mm -hmm. double essence of his nature was sent into humanity. So at that level, the allegorical Adam was fully divine. So they said, whatever Adam said it was, you are cattle, it was cattle. But the divine sublime said, no, everything within the physical consciousness was in duality, in Paris. But Adam was alone. So he said, we need to create him a helper or a mate. So he took a rip of Adam's side, caused a deep sleep, for all those are allegories, to give you an explanation of a higher intelligent happiness or occurrence that took place. So when he took that, and he created Eve, which is feminine. So he took the feminine nature of man, uh, Adam, suppressed that feminine, and left, left the masculine there, and created the uh, feminine, which is external. Mm -hmm. And then it says that he brought the feminine back to Adam to restore creation, because the intention was man to have dominion over the entire creation. Because he has to rep replicate his divine essence on earth. So when I see people talking about man worship God, I say, no, man, God, God doesn't need the worship of man. God doesn't need a worship of man. You are watching Revelations, the biggest spiritual platform. Let me ask this and then we continue from here. Okay, so 
Okay. So stories allegories. You keep saying that break or one down will be a Or see may break it or one down. Allegory say I say me per se me can't say try aquala. Aquala no at that level of in the thinking on the ass here. So, yes, 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 so Jesus Christ say for the uh, the the Christian God is like the parable uh, so I go to so I say yes, we no go so seed, but uh, so creating some that will create that will give you the closest explanation so that you can come. So when you grow, you are ah, okay. This what they are It was so, just illustration. Yes, some, they like, were not real stories no, 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 like want. we've made to believe. No, 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 no. You are watching Revelations, but mommy, we say we need to go back. Now, yes, you will not be we born as in the name of allegory. You see, there are so many stories regarding Jesus Christ's death. Now, if you want to experience that Jesus is man, Christ is different thing altogether. Now, I'm trying to explain to some people Christ is the, the, the highest consciousness, consciousness that inhabited the body of that physical form called Christ, uh, Jesus. Now, Jesus was crucified. Because it has been predicted. All the when you read the, the Vedic literature, almost all, years before his mass and all that he experienced. Now people are trying to create so many stories regarding it. But I tell them, look, what we need to look for as humanity, we don't look for. And what we don't need to look for are the things we look for. Now you see, that Christ now we are talking about is in you and I. And you can become the Christ, I can become the Christ. Depending on the, how fast we grow spiritually. And then they say humanity is looking for own looking for, and then the humanity rather looking for. Humanity must look for himself mm -hmm. to discover who he truly is. Mm -hmm. Because we are created in the image and likeness of the sublime intelligence. Mm -hmm. When you discover who you are before you can know who God is, mm -hmm. anybody that has not discovered who he is can never know who God is. Okay, so now that's why Jesus Christ, the disciples, as he said, ah, who is God? Ah, all this why we walk, man, he didn't know who God was or the sublime intelligence is. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's a direct rep representation or uh, incarnation of that divine essence. Because God, you can never see God. He has no form, he has no eyes, he has no nose, he has no this thing. He has no, it's f a formless being. God is a spirit and they that worship him must do so in spirit and in truth. So God is formless. Now, all the problem that is befalling humanity today is because we have denied our true self, pursuing other things. And it's my problem, it's so easy to discover who you are. And yet that difficult. As you are here, you have the pendant on your chest. If you want to reach out to the pendant, how easy it is to reach out to the pendant. But if you are ignorant and you are unaware that the pendant is on your chest, you can comb the whole of this room looking for that pendant. And you won't find it. And all this while the pendant has always been with you, and that is the problem. Man has gone to the moon, has gone to space, has gone to uh, the underworld, has, has gone to the depth of the waters, seeking for what? God. And that God is here. Yourself. It's your you. true self, yes, your highest consciousness. That's it. So, what are they looking for now instead of looking for that? You see, it's a quest. Man has quest to have some level of tranquility and inner satisfaction. And unfortunately, you see, the mind is our greatest friend, but our greatest enemy because it's our deceiver at the same time, could be our good friend if you know how to control the mind. The mind where the mind needs to direct. Man, it directs man to the wrong place. For instance, coming here, I, I normally don't like when it comes to I could be late for anything, but not for my spiritual appointment. So I got, we got there around 9 30. And I said, Oh, I don't know where I'm going. I need to get there early. So I got there at 9 30. I came with uh, public transport. Late together. We room, took taxi rooming all over and all over. 10 30 before I was calling, the call was in, it was going back to the you know, media work. So later on, she picked the so that's the problem. If, do you think if I knew here, I would go around searching for no. vanity? Vanity. And that's the problem of Are mankind. people going around looking for vanity? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All that we chase in this world is vanity. And people are busy chasing. Instead of chasing what? Spirituality. Yes, spirituality. And they are chasing vanity. Yes. And unfortunately, what they don't realize is everything... You see, let me give you a scenario. You have a boy. You see... You are one. You want a board. I'm coming. You are one. All other things in this universe is zero. And that is what we call the binaries when it comes to computer science. Zeros and ones. You are one. 
and all other things are zero because they are nothing, because they go to, they perish, because their divine essence is in you. Now, if one is here and you're unable to discover what that one is, the zeros you discover adds no value to it. I don't know if I'm making, yes. I'm making sense. Yes. Because when the zero comes before the one, the one still remains one. Hmm. But when you discover who you are, that's your God nature, your divine nature. All other numbers fall behind it. All other it. zeros that you find behind it. adds value. When you add one zero after the one is ten, another zero after it is hundred, another zero after it is thousand. So human beings must begin its life journey by searching who he truly is. Who am I? Why am I here? What am I supposed to do with my life? What is the purpose why I'm here? And how long would it take me on this planet Earth? And when I live here, where do I go? Okay, so answer all those questions for us right now. You are watching Revelations. When I want to answer these questions, mm -hmm. it's a whole lifetime lecture. Oh, we will. We, we, can, we can just yeah, wh Wherever we get to, okay. we can always continue. Okay. Because this is what we need. Okay. Uh -huh. So man is a spirit with a soul trapped in this physical body. That is your nature. So man, you're a tripartite being. I have heard people say that the body they own here. It's not true. <laughs> in as much as you need to develop the body, you need to maintain, you need to, in as much as you need to develop the spirit or discover that you need to maintain the body. Because you need to, you need the body in order for the spirit to function. You get the whole thing. As I'm coming here, if I, I don't want to come by car, what do, I, what do I do? You walk. Yes. You understand? So the, the issue is that as, as much as we need to develop the, the, the physical body, we need to develop the spiritual body as well. Now, this is where the balance comes in. People focus more on the physical body at the expense of the spiritual, the spiritual self. And that is a problem. But we need to maintain the balance. If I should walk in here without dress, that's it. My movie is I'm comfortable. What are you going to say? Oh, this guy, there's something wrong with him. So, first of all, man must seek his divine self which has to be the priority. When I watch people spend about 85% of all their life earnings, all their time, on the thing which will be perishable, which is the body. We clothe the body, we feed the body, we buy preference for the body, do the runs, everything, wake up, and everything is about the body. But how many people invest into the development of their spirit? And this is the problem. And Making it worse, religion has come to play, make the role even more worse. In that, instead of religion to direct man to spirituality, because religion is not spirituality. Religion is the path to spirituality. Ideally, that was the essence of religion. Religion was to lead man to spirituality, and then spirituality will lead man to divinity. Now, the religion supposed to lead man to spirituality has now, is now leading more, man more into carnality. So now go to the churches. Talk about Ubekwa Brutri, Ubetoka. Everything about it, religion has become material. So now people are dying slowly and slowly. People are dying. Now the world, the intelligences that be also have designed the world in such a way that your focus is always on the body. You wake up at 6 30, you need to get to work. You get back home. 7.30, you need to take care of your kids or whatever it is. Then you go to sleep. You wake up. You don't have time for your spiritual self. You don't have even a quiet time. When you talk about meditation or whatever it is, you don't have time for this self-development. And this is the problem of humanity. Humanity must develop the self. When we're able to develop ourselves, all other things is taken care of. Because the soul is self-obliged or broken to slide. You can be everywhere. The soul can be everywhere at every time in consciousness. So when you're able to develop such a thing, there's nothing impossible with man. The only limitation my hand is the limitation of the mind. And if you can break that spell of the mind and transcend the mind, there you realize that man has so much potential, limitless potential embedded within him. But all this while, man has become slave to something not supposed to become a slave to. So this is what is causing our balance, right? Yeah, this is causing, it's, it's causing us to go off balance. Off balance. So is, are we lost, have we lost balance of our planet? You see, when you lose balance, you see, the world in which we are, okay, is a reflection of our thought emotions because they are all vibrations. You see, vi energy, vibration, and frequency. That is all this universe is all about. So what, what I vibrate, what you vibrate, what do I, we call it collective vibration. 
it creates the world around us. You see? So when we think negative, or I don't want to use the word negative because we'll come to the real meaning of the word negative. When, we, when you think evil, I think evil, he thinks evil, we create a collective energy of evil. Then that energy begins to resonate. Now, anybody that comes outside, if the person is not very strong, he's, he will be influenced by that negative mm -hmm. energy. For instance, if you get working here, you, I wake up and I'll be laughing and smiling. There's a tendency you start laughing and smiling. Whilst you don't know why I'm doing that. Because that, the energy I'm transmitting is creating a collective consciousness around this place. And it has the tendency to influence you. Now, as we are here, and then your cameraman, I begin to quarrel with the cameraman. And this guy tells me to stop. Then I'll be going. If you don't, by the time you realize, you involve yourself in a quarreling. It's not because you have concern in what you are doing, but... The we are creating energy around us and the energy has the tendency of influencing us. And this is how come our, our universe is thrown off balance. Because we, the people that are supposed to create positive, balanced energy within the universe so that we have a, co a, a collective energy which will be good for human existence. We ourselves are in balance. We've thrown off balance. So everything that we do is tittered at the other side. Or the, other, or the other side, the left or side, or the right side. not stable at all. Yes, that we, we, because it's not stable, mm -hmm. it's there. That, so when you go to the court, they have the, the beam balance. And then there's the people in the world. They say when the center does not hold, all things fall apart. And the center holding means keeping things in a balance. So until we get to the level where we achieve the internal balance, and that internal balance will reflect in our external world, then our universe will have that kind of peace and tranquility. And I'm saying, I always say that, look, the world peace United Nations is trying to foster. It, they cannot achieve it. Why? Because if you have people who are unbalanced, running an institution who intends to bring a product that is as a result of balance. Even the pl if the planet is balanced, they will turn it the way they want, in balance, because there are people yeah, like... Because originally the planet was balanced when it was created, and God said that everything that I created was good and what perfect. But who created all this mess? We did, due to our imbalanced nature. Can you name three major mess, uh, messes you think we've created that is eating us up? The first mess we have created is the, the, the mess of subjugation and marginalization. Let me explain. Now, the first mess is... Uh, yeah, is it yes. yes, that's the first mess you have created as of balance. Or body on sexual. So that is the fundamental of our problem. Marginalization against the feminine energy is the biggest problem of the unit. Once we can restore that balance, mm. our world will be a better place. Mm. Because I don't understand and I can't I can't phantom mean to me to me in general say na nipa bet me and neglect any mommy and he can decide say we na me papa. You can never know your true father except through your mother. Hmm. Only a woman knows the true father of his of the child. And it's only the woman that can direct you to your father. So when you wake up, say, Our father, what in heaven? What about the mother? Wrong prayer. Wrong prayer. Imbalance. Our father, we are imbalanced. Like, imbalanced prayer. Now say imbalance, are you wrong? Well, is it wrong is, is a little bit of an extreme word. What is the difference between wrong and imbalance? You see, you see imbalance comes in different grades. When you transcend, uh, imbalance comes in different grades. Wrong is absolutely zero, zero appearance of imbalance, where there's no hope, hope at all. But there's hope because there are people, are, you, you are doing a very great and a marvelous job after what, going through some of your destiny. So it gave me hope that, oh, so there are people who are really going out there. So, it, we are not absolutely wrong as in when you draw the normal line. You are so we should believe in time and not call it wrong, right? Yes. Is that it? Yes. Okay, so imbalance from now going. Don't say anything is anything is wrong. Go Say imbalance. Yes. Am I correct? Yes, you are correct because see, everything in life you see, there's neither right or wrong, good or bad but it's the state of mind that determines the direction it will, it will tow. So, we are watching Revelations. So from now, don't say wrong, but say in balance. Because there is hope and we believe in time. My name is Mami Grace. I'm here with one of our brothers. So um, the planet itself, the planet itself, yes. is this still the way God made it? No. 
Not what has all. happened to it and what who caused it? The planet is now treated towards a more of a malevolent energy or malefic energy. When I say malevolent and it's 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 more destructive. That is why they are anticipating planet Earth either climate change or global warming. Because they've sensed the thing, but they don't they don't know how to solve the the, the whole problem. Because too much masculine energy has been exerted on this planet Earth at the expense of the feminine energy. So there's no balance again. So there's no balance. So because there's no balance, and the, the malevolent energy, and no, no, a hey, competitive energy, aggressive energy, suppressive energy, marginalization that energy. That needs this one to balance to it. Complement to complement it so that they will have that to float. Then life will be continued. But because it, it has been marginalized, you know, the, the energy has, the, the whole thing has been tilted. And if we don't take time, it will crash. That I can tell you. About. Okay, so what do we do about it? Now, before we do about it, this year, I think March, they gave me a message and they told me that, look, your, your, your planet should have crashed 2000, uh, 2022 this year. But there are certain people within the planet that have so much love in their hearts and they wish that humanity will come out of their ignorance so as the restoration would achieve. They may not know that they are working towards the balance of the planet. But this is what they have been doing all these years. So go out there and then do what you have been asked to do for many years. Because I was taken in that world and then I, was, I went through my practical balance session, not in the in other physical training. I was balanced inside. Then they, 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 I, I was balanced for three times. They brought other entities for me to balance them. I failed for the first time, second time, third time I was successful. I did and the fourth time I was successful. They said, now go back to your world. Go and balance your people. This is the problem of the world. So when I came back, it has been many years, I've decided not to do it. Until, as I explained earlier on, then I decided, okay, fine, let it go. After all, what, what, what is man made for? So we came in to do the work, but it's so nice to know that people have been fighting for the cause. If not even achieving that thing, they are preparing that thing. Because the point, that as we sit here, I can tell you that very, very few, I can't tell the exact number, but very, very few people on this planet that can really balance somebody. We can give all the lecture about balancing people. We can have all the intellectual discuss about balancing people. But how to get a person balanced is hmm. the problem. It's the problem. Because when you are sitting in a comfortable zone, the brain is at the emergency mood. How because do you see, balance? The point is that when you need to balance somebody, you need to download the energy from higher consciousness. And you become a vessel or a conduit or a channel through which the energy comes. When the person is sits and is not off balance, at the, at the time of that experience, shake up. When you come back, begin to ah, now, what is happening in this world? Oh, 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 everything is topsy turvy. Everything is upside down. What is the person saying? And, and at that level, you begin to operate beyond mind. And as you operate beyond mind, you, always, you are consistently connected to the higher hierarchies through your intuition. So at this year, they tell you what is happening. We need to see, we need to this, I don't, why this? This is supposed to be, this is supposed to be. So you, you become a walking knowledge rather than depending on that lower knowledge. And that is why, and the big problem I'm saying is that people now crave for this lower knowledge because they've lost the contact of their divinity. So now everybody wants to. Is it not because it's comfortable, it's easy? Yes, it's, it's comfortable, it's easy because now somebody is telling you. Uba, I say, oh, come and say, what do you want? Okay, I take uh, 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 tunim, and tunim, I take uh, a CD or whatever. Okay, oh, win it, how, win it, how, win it, how, you just ask you, it's easy. Or okay, you come, okay, what's your name? I take, okay, I either use the Pythagoras theory or the Chadian principle or Pythagoras principle, I do your numerology. Oh, okay, your vibration is normal, this. Okay, I go into this, this and this. Or I, I use your astrology, what's your date of birth, do that, or I use palmistry. They makes life easy. No, they are all good. But you see, when you read certain holy, holy sacred texts, they don't really encourage people to go there. Not, that, not necessarily because it's evil, but because it has a tendency of limiting man from realizing... From going through the process to... And realizing his true nature. Mm -hmm. Because, see, man is divine. And all other things is beneath man. All other things is beneath man. All other things. All other things. Are except, you very sure? All, except the divine essence. 
the sublime intelligence. Whether you go through the process to gain your highest consciousness or not, you are higher than are higher, everything. Yeah. Uh, when you don't know your consciousness, you are higher in recession. Mm -hmm. So You understand? What, on now, when I was talking, I'm talking about man in his divine essence. Mm -hmm. Okay. When okay. man attains his so divine essence. So not all. Not all. You see, let's put it in, in, in the right context. Man, that God entity, that created being in the image like God, is higher than all things. Let me give you that. Your son or your child is the Lord of all this house. Whether it is known to him or not, he's the Lord. Though a child, but he has that inherent energy within him. If he's ignorant, the house help will write him. But that doesn't defy the principle that he's still the Lord of this house. Mm -hmm. All he needs is the balance. So, though maybe unbalanced, he's still the Lord. When he gets his balance, oh, ah, nobody will teach him that no. I'll order you, sit there, sit there, sit there. Let me give you a scenario. There's a cab, you know, cab, uh, Jataba. And now, Oprah, it's open, it's open, it's shepherd be, I don't know, shepherd, or the Inyan, Elko, it's the Inyan, Jataba, no, Fa, Jataba, no, and or the Neka, Inyan, no. And now, or the Inyan, in here. So growing up, the thought orientation thought that he was a sheep. So he was eating what the sheep ate, playing with the, you know, so one day we almost um, filled the moment did it and uh Jatama me by say wanted to come and hunt for the sheep. Oh yeah, I was ah na we need on us wadani jata. Oh gane. So it was the other lion was surprised. Ah, why are you running away from me? Then they escaped. So another time the lion came there again. And this other lion who grew up in the midst of the sheep was running away. Unfortunately, he got trapped in a corner where he couldn't escape. So this lion was uh, approaching him and it was Shouting and yelling, please don't eat me, don't eat me. He said, why would I eat you? You are mankind. He said, no, 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 I'm a sheep. Thought orientation. Are you, you know? Yes. I am right. Because at the level, <laughs> he was imbalanced. Then he said, no, 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 you're not a sheep. You are a lion. He said, no, I'm not a lion. I'm a sheep. He said, come, come, follow me. Let me show you something. So this lion has to restore his balance. So the wild lion took this domestic lion, let me use that word, to a riverside. He said, look at your image in the mirror and look at my image. You look at this image, look at ah. We are all the same. We look alike. He said, Yes, you're a lion. You've never been all this while you've lived your life as a sheep. But actually, your actual potential and our actual makeup is a lion. Do you know that very second he knew how to hunt? And he began hunting the sheep. Nobody had to teach him. <laughs> yes. Nobody had to teach him how to hunt. Nobody because had to teach him. That how to greatness hunt. is already in him. So it's already in you. Him. So every man is great and everything is under man but the difference between you and the other people is you have realized that greatness and they have not but in nature that is what is inherent in it's, it's suppressed it's a latent energy i will be able say you to me whose idea we are listen say you to me this is the key to all existence hmm. this is the only thing we need the missing code this is all we need as people because you i rather could be the name could be add in africa here but this is all we need i was asking a friend the other day sir you were telling me he's an Pan Africanist. Eh? And I have four fathers. Hey, you see, no more to me. They say, I'm before I die. The lesser cannot suppress the higher. Unless he doesn't know who he or she is. Yes. So, if what is it that they have that they were able to manipulate to penetrate through your system and then catch all your people and send away today, they become the supreme. That is what you need to be investigating and then stop uh, blaming blame, blame and, uh, what? You understand? So, the point is that. Knowledge comes in spheres and they have their dimensions. Say, so, oh, class one, uh, what you say, unin bibia. But when you tell somebody in class one, negative one plus one, I can say, no, there's no calculation like that. Negative one plus one, of course. Okay, no, 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 there's nothing like that. Because at class one, he has not been taught what is negative one. That's in, he's not there yet. But when he grows spiritually, or the when he grows academically, you get to know that no, it's possible to. Calculate negative one plus one, and it has its own answer. This is what we are having. The, unfortunately, people with within the lower sphere of intelligence propagate that intelligence as the highest and the ultimate. Because they have the opportunities. I think they have more domination in our, I mean, what, than those who have the higher vibrations and also fear. They've planted fear in people. Yes. 
So how do you come out? Yes, it is. It is. It is the only way. The only solution to fear is uh, gaining back your balance. That's the only solution to fear. But once you gain your balance, one solution. <laughs> then I can. Then one day I can rest assured because one, you are not afraid to die. Two, you know, have no quest for materialism. And what else would they, would you lose again? You are not expecting anything from anybody. Yes. So what? You are watching Revelations, and my name is Mami Grace. We are still the biggest spiritual platform in the world. I I had no knowledge in a war. I have an ability to heal you, a heal you, a heal a Korea, a Timmy, a heal the entire Africa. We are not advertisement platform, we are educational platform. We know you don't like us because people never support the truth. And so you go so, I will have say, now let, let me ask this. When you, you, you keep saying the hierarchies, the hierarchies, mm -hmm. who are you referring to? They are the higher intelligences. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, we need to give them a name. Yes. So that we can communicate within physical consciousness. Exactly. But they are energy, they are, they are vibrational energies mm -hmm. that are responsible for, and each energy has what, like for instance, when we talk, we talk about angels. Mm -hmm. Angels are vibrational energies. But the difference is that angels have the ability to take, out, take on form. Some hierarchies don't take on form. But they manifest. So for us to get the nutrients from you, yeah. give us like five different hierarchies you've yeah, we, experienced, we, you've encountered. Yeah, we, we, we have the creator. Okay. We have the allocator. We have the loss of light. I think uh, not quite long ago, the seven laws of light came to me. We had a very long discussion during my meditation. We discussed about so many things, which, you know, some of them, for the set appointed point in time, you have to disclose them. And then we have the lots of karma. They are also... Well, energies. We, we talk about karma, karma, karma. But they are energies which are responsible for that. Recompense, whether good or bad, you need to be rewarded for everything that you do. As a man sows, socially, unfortunately, Christians don't believe in the law of karma, but the Bible talks about the law of karma. Now, when you come to this world, the kind of experiences you go through, the people that give birth to you, your parents, your siblings, all are decided by the karmic board with you in agreement before you come to this world. So when people are going through certain experience and you want them, they begin to complain. I say, ah, but it's your choice. If you don't want to go back and change it. So e everything happening to you, you have the right to change it because you agree that, okay, in my previous life, I was a billionaire. This I want to come now as a pauper. I just want to know how poverty is like. Yes, people come to the world to choose poverty. And that poverty is, is part of the development of his soul towards its final destination. So, for instance, they are lunatics. And this is what they want to experience in this lifetime. Hey! Oh, yes. But they want to know what it takes to be a lunatic. And our family is also full of Samato or Mundina. And to be able 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 to be you no, see, the point is that, the point is that, you see, that, that's the, you see, once we cross that third dimension into physical duality, we forget all our agreements. Mm -hmm. They say we take a soup called forget me quick. <laughs> and then we forget everything. Then the mind begins to control. Now, when you're a child lying in the cradle and your, your vibrational frequency was not tilted towards the external world, but your vibrational frequency is tilted towards to the higher consciousness, you are aware of everything and whatever you need to experience. Then gradually, it begins to close. When you begin to go, you begin to have that detachment. When that detachment is taken, then your parents begin to orient you towards the external world. Because mm. when, it, when it closes from there, your mouth starts to open. Yes. When it's open there, your mouth is... Yes. But the balance is you can keep the two. If you have a good parent, you can keep the two. There are some people who say, okay, fine. You see, when you are a spiritual master, in, as ascended master, in the, and you decide to come back to this world, you're going to, to it's, it probably is two things. Either you'll be born in a wealthy home, so that you have all you need to... To make the job easy. Easy. Or you'll be born to a spiritual master. That will keep you in focus. The danger is that it's better to be born to a spiritual master than to be born in a wealthy home. Well, there's a tendency that the wealth will delude you without guidance. And there are a lot of... So a lot of souls that are born to wealthy home are great souls. If you don't know, mm. they are great souls. But due to the delusion of the material consciousness, they've they lost can't adapt. They can't adapt. even groom their consciousness. Yes. And you see, that 
and comfort. one of the requirements that we need in order to pursue this spiritual path is self-denial. Mm. If you don't deny yourself, forget it. You cannot discover who you are. If you don't deny yourself, you cannot discover who you are. Revelations, make it a quote for me. My name is Mami Grace. Our time is almost due. So, um, restoring the lost balance of our planet was your topic. Yeah. Can you come back again, please? They are watching us, so if yes, they Oh, will. yes. Uh, once the hierarchies are given the permission, I don't need to seek their permission no more. Who, who and who have to give you the permission? I need to know so I can touch base with them. Oh, yeah, sure. You can do what? I can maybe try to touch base with them. Oh, you can try to touch base with them after we have gone through the procedure okay. of connecting you to the hierarchies. <laughs> <laughs> you are watching Revelation, so so in in three minutes, please give us the. He will still come back anyway because I know they will permit him to come. They've already permitted. Yeah, it's my yeah, decision sure. to come now. Yeah, 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 and you love, you want to disperse, so you will come. So um, give us in three minutes everything we've we've discussed here. Fani say obia and she se si ano de atu hano mo inti asemwe ina boni tofa in three minutes. I will be or share you know. Obenya informations no. Okay, the me me person me can say nipa da se ni wo hoa. E se o hwehwe ni awone. Discover your true self because the only thing that the world and the intelligences that be doesn't want you to know is who you truly are. Mm. Because when you discover who you truly are, they can never control you again. Omuntu mi ndu subium because you are, you beyond, become you are beyond control. Because you are dealing with higher intelligences where they are dealing with uh, celestial intelligence, uh, terrestrial intelligence, and you are dealing with celestial intelligences. Let's find out who we are. Who I didn't know who you are. Me and Kasa me a wine. I didn't know who you are. I didn't know who you are. Now we 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 minutes to hours we just balance you and you know you, you know your mission okay so uh today's week he will come and take us through all those process so you are able to know who you are what you are and what you are here for is it possible it's, it's possible okay so thank you so much for coming we appreciate you and we look forward to see you next week so next week he will come and take us through uh on from a person me who me who me person me who you are on the other day baba um, life. So, baby son, or, I, can you do life? Yeah, we don't want to call. They want to call. Okay. So, into mobile friend, now we send them a text. Now we need to interrupt. No way. I know all your questions will be answered. Or baby, why you na? I'm a obiye who know because we are confirming. Say it's just uh, latest by one hour. No, we can all go through that process. Thank you so much for coming. Please, any phone numbers, any social media platform, so we can follow and learn. For now, no. For now, no. I say for now, no. And I try to but me believe it. Say as time goes on, no. We bet me a be boy in a na ya learn. Thank you so much for coming. You don't worry. Thank you so much for coming. And a time will come. You give it out to us. We will love you. So we love you. I love you too. I love you. you for, <laughs> thank you for coming and thank you for watching the biggest spiritual platform. You know my name, Dada Mami Grace. Latest one, be a enyambaye.